Boom, back at it again with another day in my universe or my utopia I call cryptocurrency. Now, um, I have $73.25 on my lending wallet, which ain't too bad. Um, the lending rates haven't been the greatest over the last couple of days. I think it's been like 0.6 for the last seven days, I think. Um, yeah, 0.62 for the last seven days. So, um, yeah, still seeing a little bit of numbers. Hasn't been the greatest, like 0.11, 1.24. So that kept the week okay. But um, average of the last 30 days has been 0.92. Last six months has been 0.94. So I guess you might not get the whole 1% a day. But um, on average, it's getting close to it. So, yeah, I can't complain. I'm going to keep this one quick. I'm probably just going to do a uh, reinvestment. So I'll get $70 in there reinvest get it back in i think 299 days um cool. yeah reinvest thank you sir cool um yeah so that's pretty much my bit connect loan so let's see how much i've actually managed to earn I have earned a total of $704. Yo, that ain't even that bad, you know. And my active investment is now 2750 So, yeah, can't really complain with that. Cool. Um, let's see what the markets have been saying so far. You see, Bitcoin. Bitcoin's been doing a lot recently. Um, $11,500. Wow. That is incredible. Um, yeah, where's Bitcoin gone over the last couple? What's its market cap? See, its market cap is just—it just seems to just keep going up. Um, if you look at Bitcoin from around six months ago and see where this market cap is, then to now, you can see the double. You can see the trend. The higher the market cap goes, the more your coin is going to be worth. Um, is it a guarantee that it's going to go up? Uh, no, but it's more than likely in my eyes. Um, see people wonder should they even invest in bitcoin now or wait till it drops like if you look at the numbers the numbers don't suggest that it's going to drop it might have a sharp dip but that sharp dip comes down to someone who actually watches it um on a day-to-day -day basis like a trader for example would understand and feel when it will drop so someone who's just trying to jump into it new i don't know if you're going to be paying the most attention to know okay now is a good time but um yeah like crypto it's, 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 it's definitely a crazy market at the moment. A lot of money's coming in from Korea, as usual. But it seems like US dollar, Bitfinex is just killing it. It has the most volume. Um, it seems like a lot of people are putting their money into it. It's just a fact. There's, If you don't know someone that's talking about it or that's got a couple Bitcoin here or there, like you're probably just talking to yourself and your pet, but... Yes, it's definitely a crazy market. Um, one thing I've also noticed is that, you see, BitConnect. No one's been talking about BitConnect, but BitConnect seems to have actually picked up. They were at like 21 the other day. They were at 16 before, but their market cap, you see it take a sharp jump up the coin index. So, um, yeah, I noticed this historical data. You can see the market cap. Is remaining large. It, I guess it's had. I, I could not tell you where this number comes from. I don't know whether they have more BCC coins in circulation now and not as many in loans, but um, yeah, wherever this comes from, I guess it's a good sign. Hope it's a good sign, but yeah, we'll see. BCC is looking well. Um, what else? IOTA, that's another. Another coin that I've noticed has jumped up so far. I also use something that's called a tangle, which is a bit different to the way block chain works. Um, and I guess Mastercard, I think, have um, announced a partnership with IOTA. But yeah, this is another coin that is something that you should definitely pay some attention to. So um, yeah, that's that's actually a good coin there. This market cap's just going up reasonably. And you see, yeah, this is not bad whatsoever. 
it's doubled 50 percent in a couple days but um yeah that's an interesting coin i think it's going to pick up a lot of a lot of steam so yeah that's another coin to look into cool but yeah um there's an amazing article talking about venezuela launching an old back to cryptocurrency now, to give you some other background, Venezuela has been going through economic problems, the country has a hyperinflation, lacks food and medicine, and there were sanctions placed on Venezuela by Trump's administration to minimise the country's ability to move money through the international system. And Venezuelan President Nicolas Maduro decided to announce an old back to cryptocurrency called the Petro. Now, this is just my personal opinion, but I've always had the thought that cryptocurrency could eliminate poverty, and I, I just don't know how. But I had a feeling that it could possibly end it. And this move by the president to join in on something which is a risk, and that is the nation's risk, he can only see the benefits to his own people struggling without medicine and food. So, you know, this is a small force standing up to a US blockade. Never done before. And it's not done through war. It's done through crypto. So, Nicholas, stay trapped in that crypto, my friend.